So a lot of people say to me, why OLED? Why OLED? Why not LCD? Well, that's because the LCD technology will always require some sort of uh, backlit light behind it to achieve that beautiful picture quality. That's not going to be the case right here with the OLED. OLED doesn't need any light behind it because every and each pixel here it's emitting by itself that means that 8.3 million pixels from each corner diagonally which is 3840 by 2160 will emit by itself that every and each color individually so the green's gonna be as green pink's gonna be as pink purple's gonna be as purple red's gonna be as red black's gonna be as black and white's gonna be as white and therefore you are getting the best possible contrast ratio that currently as of this recording July 25th 2020 no other TV other than OLED panel can achieve that okay that's just a fact that's not me saying it because uh, I have LG I have OLED that's because that is the fact you can ask around, you can ask LG, you can ask anybody out there. And they're going to tell you the same thing. Because that is the fact. Only person who's going to tell you different is the person who, well, who doesn't have this television, who never experienced this television, or simply maybe just doesn't like this technology for whatever reason. And here, clearly, you can see how beautiful that looks right over here. This is just simply gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is Ghost of Tsushima. And when you look at this, when you see this in person, forget about looking at it from a uh, compressed camera. When you see this in person, it's just simply mind-boggling. But the only way you're going to be able to experience that is... When you actually purchase this TV, meaning you got to see it in person. I said this to my friend Derek. I said it to everybody. I even had a conversation with Fade to Black. Uh, me and Fade to Black, we go way back, and he will tell you the same thing. OLED is something you have to see in person to truly appreciate what your two retina eyes will see. What your two retina eyes are seeing right now, it's compressed, meaning that the camera cannot depict the tone of color. The camera cannot depict that sharpness detail that's uh, inside the TV. And definitely camera cannot depict the contrast ratio that your own two retina eyes can see. Uh, okay. Now for a minute, for a minute here, I want to talk about this uh, fear of burn-in. Uh, this is something that ever since I started my channel, almost four and a half years since I got into televisions since uh, 2016, three and a half years, okay, always been this one question, fear of burn in, burn in, burning on a screen, you know, if, if you keep this like this and don't turn it off, that all of a sudden there's going to be some sort of a burn-in happening meaning that this imagery this uh, tape here that says energy saving medium it's gonna stay like this it's gonna be burned into the uh, the panel now of course all it can have that this can happen technically scientifically yes it can happen but the way OLED has built this new panels with the 8 series, 9 series, and 10 series, the chances of that happening are less likely. Unless you are forcing it to happen. Unless you are forcing it to happen, then it will happen. Okay? So what is the one way that you can prevent? What are the certain tips you can use to prevent that from happening? Well, number one, go to your energy saving and keep your energy saving at medium. Why at medium? Because 
you want to make sure that you're not blasting that OLED light okay if you don't turn your energy saving to medium and you keep it at off then you're gonna be squeezing every ounce of that OLED light and the longevity of your television is gonna be shorter than what normally would be so use the energy saving in medium keep it at medium what is the next thing you can do okay the next thing you can do if you are watching for example playing a game like this in HDR and here I am I have my lights turned on here lights here lights there I got a bunch of lights okay it's all orange unless you're living in a some kind of a arena where everything's super bright you don't have to blast all that all at light all the way maximum okay I know people will say keep it at 100 but if you are afraid if you are somebody who's really have that fear that you might have this potential retention or burn in on your screen that's fine hey you can leave it at here let's go to the HDR that's okay you can leave your uh, OLED light at 85 keep it at 85 that's fine and your contrast at 87 so remember keep your energy saving at medium your OLED light at 85 and your contrast at 87 this is going to reduce that the usage of light the usage of OLED light okay what's the next thing you can do another thing you can turn off obviously is your dynamic contrast turn this off you don't really need this turn it off uh, okay because if you turn this on then what you're doing is you are um, over brightening your white digital levels and there's just no reason for you to use this you don't have to use this what is the next thing you can do dynamic tone mapping you can turn it off but everything's gonna be a little bit dimmer you can turn it off if you feel like hey uh, I want to I don't want to use all of this brightness okay I want to keep my OLED television with more longevity turn it off but I would still recommend HGIG HGIG doesn't brighten it up that much dynamic tone mapping brightens it too much you see that's too much this is not too much HGIG is not that much so I would keep it at HGIG HGIG is not squeezing too much of that uh, tone mapping to brighten up your HDR when you turn it on it brightens it up but when you turn it to HGIG if you keep an eye over here you'll see it right here that's not the case so these are some of the steps you can take okay power saving mode it's yet another feature that you can use to help you reduce that uh, potential potential burn in you can reduce a usage of energy usage of uh, this television let's say for example you fell asleep you're tired and you forgot to turn off your console and your console as you know PlayStation will go into standby mode after you don't use it for for quite a long time and then once the PlayStation is turned off this power saving mode right here what it does when you turn this on this HDD power saving mode what this basically done if your TV has not been used by a certain device that's connected to it if it hasn't been used uh, for quite some time and it's uh, just a paused image or nothing it's moving this will go into a standby mode the television will go into a standby mode and after five minutes of being in a standby mode it will shut itself off and you won't have to worry about it so these are some of the things you can do uh, to reduce this potential fear of burn-in honestly I wouldn't worry about it I know a lot of people are worried about it but I personally wouldn't worry about it because to me personally I have my OLED it's right over here 
it's right here my e8 is right here and it's still working after two years no issues after two years no issues been watching on it but you have to take care of your uh, television guys you have to take care of your equipment it's like everything else if you don't take care of your cell phone if you don't take care of your car if you don't take care of yourself no one's gonna take care of you okay so it's kind of same the same thing here with a television you know this is the common sense uh, and that's what I've been trying to to preach here that's what I've been trying to tell people you know and, and it's sometimes it gets irritating honestly uh, that people are just listening to this bunch of nonsense out there guys if if LG had a major problem with OLED panels if, if LG had this major issue this major problem I guarantee you I guarantee you there would be a recall and LG would be forced to stop the production of OLED panels you would not see any more OLED panels they would move to a different technology most likely um, micro LEDs which is something that Samsung is working on or maybe something else some some newer technology who knows but that's not the case guys that's not the case uh, this is my fifth OLED and I know I'm kind of repeating myself here millions of times I said this like gazillions of times but this is my fifth OLED and I can tell you that if there was any issues if there was any problems with immediate burn in I would be the first one to tell you that I would be the first one to know and believe me I wouldn't have my OLED I would never use it I would never even make any videos about it if that was the case but that's not the case okay so I hope this video helps you a little bit you know uh, I'm trying to do my best here to to explain this to everyone I know some of you who follow me are new to televisions and you don't understand I get that uh, I used to be just like you I was afraid I was like oh man I don't want to spend all this money and then uh, something happens to a TV um, look it's always good to take a warranty uh, that's why you have a warranty if you if you have panic attacks for a lack of a better term if you feel uh, nervous hey peace of mind peace of mind take take a warranty you know that's why the warranty is there peace of mind take a warranty all right that's what I would do if I was feeling uneasy and nervous I, I would take a warranty if I didn't know something if, if I didn't do my research I wouldn't take somebody else's word I wouldn't even take my word for it if I was watching me and if I didn't know anything about all it I would say hey I mean I, I cannot take this guy word for it you know he he's partnered with LG blah 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 I'm just gonna take a warranty yes you should take a warranty whether you buy buying the OLED whether you buying the LCD LED whether you buying a, a 1500 1800 dollar monitor whenever you buying something expensive you should take a warranty man that's the bottom line all right guys well I hope that this video helps you out and just remember there's it currently this television uh, let me tell you man the C10 series just blew me away and it's still blowing me away at just how beautiful it is man I'm just like speechless and you guys are not seeing anything here you guys can see nothing I mean really uh, don't let this fool you you're not seeing what I'm seeing what I'm seeing is hundred times better in person with my own two retina eyes and honestly this video is really for my friend uh, Derek because I know he, I know you are a little bit nervous about you know buying this TV, getting into this TV. Uh, rest easy, man. Trust me. Uh, I'll walk you through it. I'll give you some more tips. Um, this is an amazing, an amazing TV, man. Uh, I haven't seen anything better than this. Uh, if there is something better than this, please do let me know. Uh, I mean, um, I'm all eyes. I'm all ears. You know. 8k guys listen 8k resolution uh we're not there yet uh 8k there's no reason you're spending money buying an 8k uh because there's no 8k content okay upscaling is not the same thing 
upscaling something, it's not the same thing, okay? To truly appreciate the AK, you need a native AK source, all right? Well, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, today with a live stream of Ghost of Tsushima. Maybe Ghost of Tsushima, maybe something else. I don't know. I'll let you know. Thank you for watching. Have a good night, good morning, and I'll see you on Saturday. It's, maybe it's probably Saturday by the time you're watching this video. Have a good one. Take care. Cheers.